In today's video, we're doing this awesome Texas theme valve cover using Rapture Liner and Rust-Oleum paint. Let's go ahead and get started with how I did this. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So today we're going to be painting this valve cover right here on my car. We're going to be doing it Texas flag themed. And yes, people that live in Texas absolutely love Texas. That's just a fact. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And since I have my other channel, which is Texas Honda channel, it only makes sense that we would keep the Honda part there on this valve cover. So we're going to do the Texas flag with the star. My wife already printed out um, on the vinyl cutting machine. She got the vinyl cutter to cut a star. So we're going to Raptor line this valve cover white using Raptor 2K uh, paint, which you can get at O'Reilly's or off of eBay. Basically, the Raptor liner is actually heat capable. We found this out on Casey's Civic. It's lasted over a year and a half with no issues. It's holding up really, really good. So we're definitely going to go that route with the white as the base for everything. So we're going to go ahead and get started. My brother's going to take this valve cover off and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to be doing my brother's as well, which is just a D17 valve cover. But we put it on his D16, they bolt right up with no problems. The only thing you have to do is plug the uh, dipstick part, that's super easy. Um, so he's already got this one that was on the car nice and cleaned up. He's just using isopropyl water mixture, so it's rubbing alcohol and water mixture, and a scotch bright pad. And it was already in pretty clean condition, he's just making sure that it's nice and clean. And he's going to do the same to this one, and then we're going to get the 2K Raptor liner, and then we're going to lay it down as a base. So now that my brother got them all cleaned up, he's basically just using the torch to heat up the porous metal, because that metal will um, retain things in it. So whenever it heats up, it'll actually burn them off, the things that are inside the small bits of metal, because the heat expands it. So he's doing that to both of them, and... Uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to show you the Raptor 2K. As you can see, it's a white lid. Uh, it says white blanco. It's 10 times tougher than regular aerosols. Spray gun finish in an aerosol can. It is a 2K just like the 2K clear. You activate it by taking a little red thing out of here, put it in the bottom, and uh, basically pushing it up against something really hard. Shaking it very well. About two minutes of shaking afterwards and then you're ready to spray it. Now this isn't like normal spray can. You don't want to be really close. You want to be kind of farther back because it comes out powerful and it has a texture to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this activated and we'll start spraying. All right, now that they're ready, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a flat white primer first. This will just help uh, with the bonding and stuff. And this stuff does work really well on valve covers. I know it doesn't say anywhere that it's high heat, but I've never had an issue with it flaking off. As long as it's sanded and properly prepped, it works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay a base white on both of these, and then we'll hit it with the Raptor. about almost 24 inches back close to that and uh, I'm gonna do a test fire and you can see how fast and powerful it comes out now you're gonna want to make sure to just kind of dust it try not to focus on one spot and don't get, get too close if you want that textured look so here we go So here is what it looks like with the Raptor liner over the top of the white primer. Now we're going to have to let these dry for about 
24 hours for me feels like a safe time. You could probably get away with like five or six if it's warm wherever they're drying. So like if you took them inside, which I don't recommend because these are venting fumes off, but if you did take it to heat it up or something like that in your house and just it's warm in your house or if it's a hot day and they dry five or six hours, you should be good for the taping. All right, while we are waiting for the valve covers to dry, I did want to tell you that you can save this. Since it is a 2K, if we let this just sit for a couple days, it's going to turn really hard. It'll be as hard as a rock. Now, also wanted to explain how you can save this. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take it, we're going to put it in the freezer, just like we do with the spray mat 2K clear. It works the same way. Um, also, another thing is people think that bed liner or truck bed coating weighs your vehicle down. That is a myth. We tested and proved this on my other video when we did my buddy Jeremy, aka Mexican Jesse's um, black bed lined Saturn. We only ended up using two pounds out of the entire gallon. Um, it was a two pound loss, which not all of the paint went on the car, so I just wanted to point that out. So we did two coats and it only used two pounds, which isn't a lot. A lot of people are saying as soon as you spray it, it hardens up and starts weighing more. That is a lie. So just wanted to throw that out there. Also, another thing I did end up uh, just buffing this carbon fiber hood to restore it. So I'll put a little video clip here of that. better than it did now we are still gonna go through and wet sand this and use the speedo coat 2k out of the spray gun using the Weta 5000 uh, spray gun that just a mechanic sent me so a huge shout out to him for that it'll be coming in an upcoming video as soon as I can but uh, this hood definitely looks a lot better with just a buffing with the Meguiar's ultimate compound and the um, turtle wax that I used so just wanted to show you that. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm gonna be using some blue metallic um, that we have left over from a previous paint job and some paper and tape, and I'm gonna start the flag. So here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna let this dry for about a couple minutes and then we're gonna peel the star and that off and then we'll do the other valve cover and after those have dried for a couple hours, then we will tape off the rest.
so the valve cover is done. The Texas Honda themed valve cover. It is bed line, it's rugged, it's durable, and it is heat resistant, so even better. Now this is a Honda here in Texas. This is, we live in Texas, we're proud of this state, so definitely had to rep it. My brother will have his on soon enough as well. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content. My brother's over here getting his uh, gauges looking better which is you can see it's got that color shift looks awesome um, definitely making some progress on this but i love how it looks and we're proud to be in the great state of texas so my brother has one as well that we're going to be putting on his and it turned out awesome now next we will be doing this burnt copper in the engine bay and i will be painting it on this channel so definitely subscribe and turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload it's going to look a lot better once that's done it's running really good now and uh, everything's buttoned up on the interior and it's all together so super happy with how it's turning out and it's only been like a week since we got this car and it's changed so much um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm trying to get this content out as quick as i can for you guys so you guys have something to watch we'll be doing an overflow bottle um, right here because this overflow tank i don't really like it that much it's not even bolted down properly um, but we're going to be going with this Jameson right here. It's just an empty Irish whiskey. And, well, seems fitting. I'm Irish, and I like the <laughs> Irish whiskey. And we'll be putting it down here, making a bracket, and I'll show you how to do that. And we'll have this metal pipe going to the top, so it'll look kind of like a distillery. It's going to be pretty cool. So, if you guys like the video, definitely subscribe. If you haven't, uh, turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Hit the like button, and drop a comment below. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say... God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.